Hello and welcome to Pants Gaming. I'm Ed and it is time for another FLB mission. Today we got Bound Dragons. Let's have a read of it. We received a new contract from small time PF No Alert. They claim that the uh excuse me, they claim that the hardline PF kill count has been repeatedly abducting and interrogating No Alert personnel. The mission objective is to infiltrate a kill count platform, extract as many prisoners as possible, and reach the goal point. So this is the first time I think that they actually have a secondary objective where you actually have to uh, rescue prisoners. So this is definitely going to make this FOB a little bit more interesting and difficult. So let's go ahead and choose a platform. So I've already tried getting through the support platform. That was pretty good. But uh, let's try the base development platform. And let's attack from. Let's go from the left this time. Alright. So, when it comes to loadout, this is probably, I guess, one of the few times where I'd recommend going lethal. Due to the fact that most of the men and enemies on these platforms are in, like, full. full teched out arm. full decked out armor that's. Basically, almost impenetrable, impenetrable to get through, right? So, for my weapons, I've got, I've got the Hail MGR4, basically a grenade launcher for clip. And I, <laughs> I recently tried using this, but I discovered that it can't actually penetrate through the armor they have. So, fingers crossed that if something goes wrong, the good old, ah, uh, jeez, Bernan. LRS 46 can work, which is basically the equivalent of the 50 cal sniper rifle in this game. Secondary, using a shotgun of slugs, or a hand shotgun of slugs. I always reckon you should bring some type of shotgun with you whenever you do a mission. If that's uh, just to me, my own personal, I don't know, personal choice. C4, I recommend bringing not to blow up anything, but to like create a distraction, so to speak, like, you know, Set some C4 on one side of the map, blow it up, or the enemy go over there so you can like flank flank them for example. Smoke grenade just in case. Active decoy, maybe just to lure people Laura. Let's see, how can I say this word? Lure people over to it. And yeah, currently take off the magazine. Hey, you got knocked to cyan and night vision goggles. And for tools, wouldn't recommend bringing that many Fultons because uh, unless you are trying to farm resources, then Spring 24, well, I might even say 12, but just in case if you do feel like getting some resources on the way, just bring 24 because you do need them to false some prisoners. Alright, so I recently just tried doing this and I stuffed up. So that's why there's, that's why there's a little bit of blood on me. If you feel like challenging yourself with this mission, you could always bring a, a uniform that's very well to blending in with steel. But since I got a feeling like this might go loud, and hopefully it doesn't, hopefully we can stealth the whole way through. Just in case if it does go loud, got the sneaking suit with the heavy health recovery speed up. And I'm using the jackal because I get, get a little bit of a bonus, just to make it a little bit more difficult. Even though this is already a pretty difficult <laughs> FOB mission. Alright, let's do this. And of course, we're going to night time. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so this time we have got four platforms to get through, and there are security measures in place. No security cameras, but just the laser barricade uh, detection things. Don't have the actual name for it, sorry. But, um, yeah, you gotta watch out for them. I almost got caught by one when I was trying to infiltrate this. <laughs> so that's always fun. So I did attempt trying to do this earlier, this platform specifically, and I'm hoping that the prisoner location is in the same spot. But if it is, it could complicate things, so we might actually try taking out the guards first before going to the prison on this platform. And it do there doesn't seem to be that many security on platforms 4 through 2. However, uh, platform 1, there seems to be quite a bit. So that is something to take into consideration when uh, doing this. The first couple of platforms are 
a very, very limited security where the last one has quite a bit. All in full, full decked out armor. So, oh crap. Let's see if I can get detected within first 20 minutes. Why not, eh? Trying to get cover on this so I can do some tricky... Alright, let's see if I can get some of these guards' attention. Alright, let's see if we can get this guard down. This is a little bit reckless. Alright, now then, I'm going to try and CQC both of these guys. Alright, one. And two. Sweet. Now then, there is an objective to uh, Fulton Guard, so why not? Let's go for it. And, oh good, the prisoner's in the same spot. So we'll get this guy out of here. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. And I think guard placements, uh, compared to like what I see and what you guys will probably okay. see, Subject is going to be the same. So that technique could actually work. Alright, let's use some of that Nocto sign for the next platform. Okay, yeah, got that one tagged. Would always recommend scouting before heading to a new platform or a new area in general when you play Metal Gear Solid. The more intel you have, the uh, more better, I guess, the outcome will be when you, I guess, do, do the mission, so to speak. The more intel, the more you know, the more power you have, so to speak. Alright. So, we probably won't need to take any guards out to get the next prisoner. So I'm going to head straight towards him and Fulton him out. Oh, I think I just saw that drop below. Oh, it dropped below 60 again. I swear I need a new computer. This is just getting embarrassing. I'm so sorry you guys had the witnesses. Ah, crap. But I should be in the clear. Now, I haven't tested this yet. But if you were to bring the... Ah, uh, what? Ah, oh, crap. Alright. <laughs> Gotta stop talking for a sec. Ah, <laughs> uh, no! This is not what I wanted to happen! And I had to kill someone, sadly. Alright. There goes that perfect no kill. Ugh. No kill I was aiming for, but oh well. That that's why we bought brought the damaged wep the damage uh, weapons. Cause I knew if we brought stun and sleeping weapons that something like this would happen. Alright. So let's go for the third prison. I hope there doesn't seem to be any guards up there, so this should be much more easier. Hopefully they don't sp <laughs> spot me through a wall. Please don't see me. Uh, everything still seems to be good. They might... Actually, not might. They probably will hear the Fulton. So... I might risk moving him before using it. I say risk because who knows, I might get spotted whilst moving him. Like, it is perfectly okay for them to hear the Fulton. But it makes it so much more easy if they don't. Okay, so that's second platform done. Ah, oh, crap. Let's use this active decoy. And thank you, active decoy. It will help you out from time to time. And there's a good example of it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised the man <laughs> went that far, to be honest. Okay. Now, like I was saying earlier about uh, if you were to use the uh, met metal camo, I don't know if it would be more difficult for them to see you. I'd like to say maybe uh, I might trial it maybe the next time I do a mission on this and see what happens. Okay, we've got 24 minutes to do 
Platform 1. That should give us plenty of time to stuff up, and if we have to murder everyone, then <laughs> it gives us plenty of plenty of time to kill everyone. Alright, okay, so there is a prison on Platform 1. Okay, so we'll try our darn tutiness to try and get that prisoner. And... I'm gonna have to kill this person, because there does seem to be no one watching him. Alright. <laughs> that helmet didn't save you, mate. <laughs> oh, man. Oop. Good old fog. Protected my butt just for a little bit. Alright. Okay, so guy's going that way. So I'm, I think I will try and take him out, but that guy in front of him might. Yeah, you'd see. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak around and flank from behind the building. Ah, yes. One of the fun things about doing an FOB mission. Just constantly on drugs. It's great. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, thank you, poor peripheral vision security. And sorry, you gotta die. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, there doesn't seem to be anyone on the upper, upper level, so get this, fault in this guy up and just head straight up there. And um, once again, uh, if you do want to fault in any cargo, any shipping containers with resources, um, there is going to be a uh, anti theft anti theft devices on them. So you might want to take them out first, maybe with like a silenced pistol, and then fault in the. Fault the resources. And there we go. I did it. And in I know less than 15 minutes, which is pretty good. Oh, look at that. Completed five out of eight tasks. Extension pretty good. Arrived at Mother Base. And we got all the prisoners, which is awesome. Just remember, guys, to smash that like button. Just remember that. Always remember to smash the like button. All right. And, ah. Uh, no resources. I thought we'd at least get some from it. Oh well, whatever. And I got no money from that. Oh, I did get some. Oh, that's weird. I must have not completed an objective for some reason. I guess maybe that maybe was because it was the um, base development platform. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I didn't get a lot from that. That's weird. Might have to look into why that happened. Anyway, that's the end of my walkthrough. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And remember to smash that like button. And keep your pants on. Just a quick correction to why I didn't get a uh, proper mission complete for that platform was because I actually killed someone. A part of the mission parameters to actually finish that, finish the mission, you're not actually meant to kill anyone. So, uh, basically what I did would still prob probably be valid, like, how I went through the mission. It's just that I didn't realize you weren't meant to kill anyone. So, <laughs> just remember not to kill anyone, so I guess what, the weapons I brought might not be very useful. You could still use it to maybe injure enemies, but then if they die, then it's not very useful. So maybe bringing weapons that stun, like maybe bringing the shotgun with the... If the beanbag rounds in it, for example, might be useful because then you can at least knock enemies down and maybe quickly stomp on them and enfolten them out. But uh, hopefully, hopefully this walkthrough is still helpful and just remember to keep your pants on.